Hello everyone, it's Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage. Uh, we had a request yesterday uh, to do the rest of the hood latch video. I did the part where you take out the kidney grill, you pop the latch of the screwdriver to open it once it breaks. Uh, a guy was wanting me to do the video on the other cables, how to get those out and how to replace okay, them. So I'm at the blue 528 parts car today. And as you can see the cable in here, and there's one breaker right there. Uh, it also goes over to this guy here, and it goes in him and out him. You can just unclip the the uh, slugs, and it goes over here. So let's go ahead and start off with the basics. Let's get inside the car, and I'm going to show you. And this car's already missing a lot of stuff, so it's not too bad. You can see the carpet's perfectly clean. Nice to know somebody took care of it, right? Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to start off with this guy. And you can see the handle right here. And you're going to want to take that handle off. So in the handle, there's going to be one Phillips screw. I just took it out because I won't be able to reach it or do it with uh, one hand here. Okay, so there's that. You're going to see inside there, there's going to be the handle mechanism. And right there is going to be the slug. So it comes out like a throttle cable. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to take out this foot pedal. This one's already shattered and already broke. So what you're going to have to do before that, to get even that far, see if it'll focus, you got to take out the panel up above the steering wheel. And these parts are very hard to get out. Um, it's not that they're hard to get out, you have to struggle to get them out without snapping them. Even worse, yet's putting them back in. So this guy here has a few... Oh, let me turn the light on the camera. Maybe that'll help you guys out. Okay, so here are with the light on. And you see there a, there's a screw here. There's also a screw over here above the pedals. Um, there is these little half turn fasteners. As you can see right there right in front of you. And you half turn those out. There's two of them in the back. That pulls that panel out. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of doing but it's not too bad. Uh, this guy here is gonna have a plastic snap. You see right there, like a plastic screw you gotta pop out. I think that's all in him. Yeah. Other than that, he just pops out. You have to fish it out of the door seal. You just push it back. You're gonna wanna pull the whole thing out and back and away. It's gonna pop out of there. So once you do that, you could actually get out the slug. You just spin this and unhook it. Let me see if I can't get this out of here. We're going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the piece under the dash out. Uh, it actually is going to have three screws up here at the top. And it's going to have two half turn fasteners. This one fell out when I pulled it out. And then once you take it out, you're going to have to unplug this guy, which is the doorbell chime. Uh, so there's that. Let me... Uh, Go ahead and grab out the other foot piece and let's take a look. Okay guys, so this is where we're at in this video. We're gonna slide this guy back. So you're gonna take something something plastic up at the front edge. You're gonna tap this back and you don't even have to take it all the way out. You can just leave it there like you see this. And this thing was already broke, it don't matter, but I thought I might as well do it the right way to show you. Uh, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna look Right there, and there is a, let's see what will focus for you. Well, of course not. But anyway, um, there is a straight screwdriver half turn fastener. So you half turn, that comes out. We're gonna go in here with this. We're just gonna ever so gently pop it out and release it. I don't know if I could do this to one hand or not. These things are, a real pain in the ass to get out. Let me set the camera down and I'll struggle okay, with that. So I just pulled it out. It's going to pull out this way. And it's going to pull out towards the seat. At an angle, you're going to pull out like this. You're going to have to unplug the uh, switch for the, the trunk. And then I'm going to go in here like this. Let me turn the light back on. And go in here and you're going to see this guy right here. So what you're going to see is a slug. I don't know why this thing won't focus. 
You're gonna see the slug right there. You're gonna see it, this piece up here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this plastic piece up and then we're gonna just unhook the slug. I don't know if I can do this one hander or not. Let's let's see. Nope. Gotta get a pair of pliers to do it. Let me grab that, I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see up in here what I did is pull this out with the pliers. You see it's loose now. And that goes in that lock. You just pull straight up on it and it pops out. So to get the slug out, what we're gonna do is go in here. We're just gonna go down to where the slot's open. And pull it out like that so that's how you do the inside cable let's go out to the hood and show you how to do that okay, so what we're going to do out here we're going to go to this guy right here which is the the access point to separate them you're going to take something you're going to pop the lid off of it once you pop the lid off of it you're just going to pull the cable out and it comes out like that okay that was easy enough that's 99 percent of the time that's what you got to replace uh, so at this point you need to pull it out of the firewall okay so what I usually do is I take something a straight screwdriver I poke it down like that let's see if it'll it's easier if you got two people I don't have that today so we're just gonna go ahead and try to poke it and get it started in that hole you might have to use two screwdrivers I don't know let me get something a little different here and try that okay so we're just gonna start it yeah just like that and we're replacing this so it doesn't really make any difference if you run it or not uh, if you need to keep it uh, maybe use something a little more blunt to push that in so here we are with this we're gonna come down here inside the car and we're just gonna pull on it and it's gonna come out like that it might take a little finagling to get it to clear where we're at here yeah so we're hung up in the this guy here we're just gonna pull up on that and free it just like that and of course this one has a zip tie so we're gonna cut the zip tie and go ahead and pull okay, it so on the out. Zip tie cut. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna just pull it on out. And this is how it looks. And that's the whole complete cable. Uh, that's how to get it out without completely destroying it. Uh, like I said, chances are it's not gonna matter if you're taking this out. It's probably broken anyway. So back to the front. Um, <clears throat> if you do break this cable right here in between the two, or you have to remove a latch, as you can see by the screws, there's these star bits here you could just pull those out that takes out the latch now this car doesn't have the front bumper on it obviously obviously it's gonna be a little bit easier ordinarily you're gonna have the cover here for the fan uh, you shouldn't have to take none of that out you should be able to fish it out like that for just replacing the cable you shouldn't have to take this out you should just be able to unclip the slugs out of there it works the same way as the inside the short cable runs through here like this goes over to this one only hooks on one side of that. Uh, that should be the same way. So anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. Sorry it's kind of shaky uh, without using a tripod or without using anything else. Uh, it's kind of hard to hold it still. Uh, I just want to do a quick video on that. Uh, the X5 is also the same way. Uh, there's slight differences, but everything comes out the same way. Everything works the same way. Uh, so this works on all the E39s, uh, the 525, uh, 528, 530, and 540. Uh, also on the E38, it is very similar. It's more similar to the X5. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, also look me up on Facebook, Instagram, Nathan's DIY Garage. Thank you.